The reds weren't red anymore. They were crimson. The blues were electric. Colors don't just exist. They dance. You couldn't understand, he said. Honestly, I'd stopped listening. I held in laughter as he wept. Because despite his remorseful realization of what horrific crimes he committed in his drink and drug-induced haze, I knew I'd won. <coughs> I'm old now. Of all the emotions a case can give rise to, I never felt anything for the victims or their families. I wonder now what that says about who I was, who I am. But those thoughts are rare and fleeting. Okay. Nice room. Company must be looking out for you. Well, it's your company, so I guess you're looking out for you. I walk past this place a ton of times. It's not that impressive from the outside. Your shoes. I'm not kicking you out. Who said anything about kicking me out? <laughs> Here you go. Cry of a guilty soul. I don't mean anything by it, Liam. I have to get up early. Nobody makes this call if they have to get up early. Your watch. I always have fun with you. You're pouting. Don't. Next time we'll do something. Okay. 
Let me call you back. All right. You have the greatest style of any woman ever. You're so transparent. What do you want? You're done already? This is a pamphlet. What are you gonna use, 20 font? It's not done, Jojo. Wait a minute. <sighs> you want a kidney too? How is this supposed to work? What are you gonna keep just dropping off different drafts? Just gonna push through. So I'm to edit an unfinished manuscript as you write it? Yeah. No rewrites? Just a stream of ramblings from a madman. I won't ramble. You could have emailed it. Want something tangible this time? If I see the same page twice, I'm going to grab all of this, go to the nearest window, and make it rain. I'd argue the way a writer sees the world is what separates them. What will the reader get from Liam White? You get me, I suppose. <laughs> My writing can be difficult at times, but ultimately optimistic. The flaws in people, the salacious nature, it can be entertaining. But the good in people is what connects us. Shut the fuck up. It's not for you. Presumptuous. I know, right? We discuss no cake. It's a brownie. The spirit is no celebration. You call this a celebration. I promise I won't say happy birthday. I promise. Brooklyn. I wish. Buffalo. I had to shoot a wedding and some 16-year-old internet chick. She didn't have a cell phone? Cell phones can't do what I do, homie. You don't waste my film. Why are you still using film? It's for personal stuff. Sounds salacious. Hey, Liam. How are you doing? All right. I'm just going to go right to it. After your last round of treatments, I was hoping for some better news. But after looking at your blood work, unfortunately, it uh, confirms what I suspected. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma has metastasized. It's spread to your bone marrow. I can't do another round of chemo, Doc. Liam, it's in later stages. It's terminal. How long? Three, six months. Liam, there are other treatment options that we could explore, but we're talking about quality of life here. I'll, 
I'll have my staff give you some referrals to some groups and therapists that can help if that's something that you're interested in. Yo, I almost forgot. I'm throwing those parties for this artist friend of mine. Well, not a friend, but somebody I've befriended trying to get a potential client. You should come. <sighs> Let me know. It's gonna be a lot of artists and buyers. Might be pretentious, but you network, you get work. Is uh, your girl gonna be there? Dajane? Dajane. <laughs> She's sultry. Yeah, with a name like that, you should be. But no. She's out? I'm getting more harmonic and holistic as I age. Our energies didn't match. She was too smart for you anyway. The fuck is that supposed to mean? The physical world exists in opposites. Here we go. Left, right, good, bad, being, non-being, feminine. Masculine. What the fuck are you talking about? Chris, you're insecure. You need to feel smarter than your woman. Textbook. Why are you such an asshole? Mm-hmm. <sighs> so what about the reading today? I heard you left early. There was nobody there. Again. It's not cool, bro. I did the reading, shook hands with all three people there. It's not what I heard. Well, not unlike my beloved hip-hop, I'm often blamed in lieu of accountability. Don't write when you're talking to me. These things are getting harder to book. Friends since high school, and I made you rich, dickhead. You talk to me like that? You made yourself rich, asshole. I just got paid. And have some decorum. Don't be counting my money. That was two books ago, Liam. What have you done for me lately? Sensitive today? Because <laughs> you know if I wanted to drop you, I could have. I want you to win, man. I want you back on top. <sighs> What's the doctor saying? I'm fine. I'm like Trump. I'm gonna live to be 200. <laughs> well, he will never die. If I wanted to sleep in a cold bed, I would have stayed home. You gonna be all night? I just don't wanna lose it. You have the greatest legs. I could take a hint. Great.
in 100 feet made the list. How many does, but I'm bragging. I, I was a fat kid. I like to eat. What do you want from me? He figured he'd say, son, sugar doesn't go on everything. You, you can't eat margarine with a spoon like it's a bucket of ice cream. But no, he made you feel like a big fat nothing. He used to call me fat, fat, the water rat. He was nobody's bargain, my dad. I used to wish he'd get hit by a great big bus full of explosives. He, he was like that all my life. And when I saw him frail in that hospital bed. Bill, Bill, let's, uh, let someone else try. Tell you the truth. I'm glad he's, I'm glad, I'm glad he, <laughs> All right, well, does anyone else want to speak? You're new. Don't think I'll be back. What's your name? Aren't these anonymous? Or junkies. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, you uh, run this? No, just... I'm losing my brother, uh, but I resist. So do I. Melissa, how much time do you have? They gave my brother less than a year. That was almost six years ago. My family, they refinanced houses, sold houses, cashed in everything. We did all the chemos, nothing. Then we found this doctor in Germany and he promised a miracle and we thought bullshit. But what do we have to lose? He put my brother on a regimen and within a month he was feeling better. Then remission. Six years doesn't seem like much, but it's a lifetime. Schönen guten Tag, Büro von Dr. Betrug. Wie kann ich Ihnen helfen? English? Office of Dr. Betrug, hello. Is Dr. Betrug available? Hold, please. Dr. Betrug is not available at the moment. He can return your call. Uh, this is Liam White, 20 American number 202-585. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six keys to lane five. Riots continue as the pandemic surges. Following the death of George Floyd... Why are you watching this? Nothing else on? Golf or anything? Gotta know what's going on, even if it is all propaganda. Depressing. Yeah, well, can't just bury your head in the sand. I didn't say bury your head in the sand. You're fixated. It's the world. Can't be so soft-minded. Pop. I'm not a pipsqueak punching your hands anymore. You can't be talking to me like that. <laughs> I'll talk to you, anybody else, anywhere I damn well please. Why you gotta be so truculent? It's my house, right? You don't like what's going on in here? That door's right there. Coming in here with your $5 words, throwing your education all up in people's faces. You pay for the education, so joke's on you. Keep it up here. You want the other half of that sandwich? I am not an invalid. If I want the other half of that sandwich, I can get it my damn self. Hey, 
I'm gonna go. Mm hmm. Could at least say thanks for the sandwich. Now, why would I say thanks to you when I don't? You even... gonna tell me you don't owe me anything? Save it. Well, I don't. Hell, if anybody owe anybody, you know which way that goes. God damn it! <laughs> there. You want me a trash digger? Go ahead. You better be glad I'm a Christian man now, boy. Church would board up the doors and windows. They see you coming. If I was 20 years younger, I'd get up in your ass. I thought you was leaving. I can't do groups. What should I call you? Doc or uh, Daniel's fine. There's no life in there. They're crying, and it's enough to make you want to speed up the process. Some people find it comforting. It makes dying easier. What difference does it make if it's easy, hard, scary, or a thrill ride? It's not like I can come back and write a review about it. Well, groups aren't for everyone. So tell me, do you have other outlets to talk about this? Well, have I told anyone? No. I'm couple people you know I'm sick, but no, I don't go out of my way to tell people I'm dying. It is a difficult subject to broach. You can see it changing them, like the exact moment they realize it. They, they physically change. You know? Most will become sympathetic and overly attentive. Some disengage. Sometimes, you know, sometimes they're repulsed. I can see how that would make it difficult. You're lying. I'm not. <laughs> I don't believe you. That is such a stupid thing to lie about. Right. Why don't you believe me? Why don't I believe you in a Nicolas Cage movie? Only you can't remember the name of the movie. And your scene got cut, so there's miraculously no evidence. <laughs> what? Why would I lie about that? I don't know why you would, but I know you are. <laughs> You're just mad because I met Nicolas Cage and you haven't. Yeah. <laughs> I believe this whole story. <sighs> sit, sit down for a sec. You okay? Yeah. You haven't eaten today. My stomach is tripping. So? So? I'm not trying to projectile vomit today. But that's not funny. I'm not being funny. You're supposed to eat and take the pills. It doesn't matter. It matters. It matters. Look. <laughs> just, just don't even say anything, because you're going to say something to make it worse. You're not going to be talking to me any kind of way. You're telling me shut up like you pinky from Friday. I didn't tell you to shut up. You did. Then stop acting stupid like Data. See, it was cute. It wasn't even day day. Step your movie game up. My movie game is right where it needs to be. <laughs> whatever. Whatever, whatever. You hungry? Yeah. <laughs> been many advancements in the field that have not been accepted by American doctors. Melissa Kepler said you helped her brother? I have treated many people. There are many ways to fight the disease, but American doctors, finance plays a part. How would this work? I need to go to, to Munich or... Let us slow down, Mr. White. Tell me your doctor's information and I will have your medical information transferred here. What's this? You know. You're so old. Excuse you. We have computers now. It's like you're from the 70s. You're a microwave dinner. I am cook food. You couldn't possibly understand. You got a mouth on you, don't you? Mm hmm Wanna help? No. Excuse me, sir. Do you do 
know where the jazz section is. My dad, he, um... I don't work here. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. I'm, I'm sorry. Did, did you call me sir? Yeah. How old do you think I am? I don't know. 48? You think I'm 48? You're being weird. How old do I look? Helen Keller. We're going out. You don't know what's happening. It's a, it's a reflex. You're always listening. Words, stories, they, they go inside you and, and they come out with colors and rhythm. And you let it. Those words came from someone. All words come from someone. Those words, those experiences, they're a proprietary blend. They belong to someone. They were in the air. So the moment I decide to verbalize my life, it no longer belongs to me. You're taking this too literally. If you hurt someone, then... I own those actions. They own their pain. And I own my interpretation of it. You're so full of shit. You're trying to use semantics to justify stealing someone's life and passing it off as an original idea. I'm a writer. You're a life thief. That's right. I'm an outlaw. Fuck you too. What's up, bro? Yo, what's up? So listen, I got you this interview with this podcast on the 17th. Now, I didn't get you a million views per video, so I need you to make yourself available. Okay. Just send me everything. 
All right, done. One more thing, though. I need you to clear your dance card on Thursday. Why? Because I'm working on something. Man. Listen, man, you are going to love her. She is. Mm. But anyway, man, she's bringing a friend, and I need you to run interference. What are we, 25? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm writing. Why you ain't just saying in the beginning? <sighs> I just want to write. That's it. That's all I want to do. I just want to write. I just want to write. You know you can catch your aneurysm. You don't catch your aneurysm. Bring your ass. All right. Oh. Yeah. What? My brother died. I'm, I'm sorry. We don't know each other, so... Can I just say something without you judging? I don't care if you judge. He was a son of a bitch. And I know the math on that, but you know what I mean. He was the good one and the smart one. And he knew it. And he didn't have a shred of humility. And when we found out the first time that he was gonna die, my family cried, and I just felt ready. Family is complicated. When they said, let's band together to support him, I did it out of obligation. That's all. I don't know if almost dying softened him or me, but we got a second chance. He was an asshole, but he had a good heart. You remind me of him. He was my brother. I'm glad we got that second chance. I think I was spoiled by the success of my first book. First published book. How many have you written? Four. Self-published my first and got a publisher for the second. Boom. I'm going to make a movie out of it. Wow. That's nothing to sneeze at. When it first started hitting, I thought I could do this over and over again. The publisher said, good. That's what we want. Pretty common, right? I wrote another version of it and fewer people came back. I thought, what the fuck? <laughs> no one hits a home run every time out. You lose sight of yourself. Start giving away your power. You forget that only you can create this thing. Only you. You working on a new book? I'm writing whatever the hell I want this time. No one's going to read it anyway. Fuck them. gives a fuck. This is Liam. Liam, Dr. Betrug here. Hey. Hey, doctor. I've taken a look at your medical information. Okay. It doesn't matter. It won't change anything. I'm not going to leave. Okay. So what did he say? He talked a lot about the test results and blood levels, jargon mostly. I, I tried to keep up. He said, um, with the numbers and, uh, I'm sorry.
you might have to deal with me for a little while longer. He thinks he can help. be expensive. But you can't put a price on something like this. You still mad at me? No. Well, I'm in town. You can make up for being a fuddy-duddy. I'm busy. But there's some cool bars on A Street now, so. Are you being sensitive? Liam. Hello? Hey! <laughs> 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 love. Happy birthday, baby sis. Thank you. You drinking already? I'm out of life, playboy. <laughs> Adrian, you still here? I'm still here. <laughs> it's a new record. Happy birthday to you. Oh, you're too <laughs> kind. <laughs> James Baldwin, nice. Oh, I don't have this one. Check the inside. That, that's, that's James Baldwin's signature. One of his first books. He signed it at a festival before anybody gave a damn who he was. I hunted that down just for you. Did Big Bro do it or did, or did Big Bro do it? Big Bro did it. <laughs> Snap. Hey, let me take a look at that. I'll get drinks. I'll give you a hand. You talk to mom? Why would I? The whole womb thing, maybe? Liam, you and I remember our mother differently. We always have. I tried the number I had for her. Mention that a dad, his head spins like the fucking exorcist. The little girl's head spun. What? The priest was the exorcist. Did somebody's head spin in the movie? Yeah. So what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just saying. You have a number for her? Yeah. <laughs> Liam. What? Okay, so she wasn't, she wasn't Mrs. Huxtable. So, we've, we've had time to get over it. I need to get over it? Yeah, well, accept it. She gave what she knew how to give. How many times do I have to hear some variation of that? You've always had a hard time with this. Okay, you wanna know the trick? Enlighten me in the ways of the sociopath. <laughs> Gone. How are you? Today is, today is good. Good. Since you have your strength, let the tannins go wild.
How far have you gotten into it? Pretty far. How is it? It's on a different astral plane for you. So it won't sell? <laughs> I stop caring what people think. Yeah? I want to be like, Jill Scott. You want a mime fellatio on stage? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's stupid. <laughs> She, uh, does what she wants. You crush on her so hard. That's like the third time you've brought her up. You're lying on me. It's sad. Benign crush. What you have with Nora Jones is a benign crush. With Jill, it's aggressive. You're lying on me again. You like passionate women. Women who speak softly but confident. Complete women. The only thing missing from them is what they're aware of. They do what they please with that knowledge. You like that. Hello? Is this Liam White? Who's calling? I'm Detective Mike House. I'd like to speak with you. Is there a place we can meet? What's this about? It won't take long. Can I come to your place? Thank you. Coffee? Oh, no thanks. Another cup and I'll jump right out of my skin. So this won't take long. I just have a few questions for you and then I get out of your way. You recognize this woman? That's Melissa. How well do you know her? Just had a few conversations. Her real name is Bunny Huntsville and she's a con artist. Identity theft, wire fraud, a few others. One of her scams is that she liked to find people with sick relatives, or maybe the person is sick themselves. Says that she knows someone that can help them. Eventually that person reaches out, asks for personal information, or money, or both. Mr. White, have you given her, or anyone connected to her, your private information or money? Mr. White. I woke up early on a Sunday afternoon, staring at the sun steady shining through my room. My patience went thin, but then again, I don't trust him. Cause if I just promise I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Ladies. The most important thing to remember is this. Ladies, I'm not boring you, am I? Not at all. Excellent. Now, the important thing to remember is this. I don't see myself through society's eyes. So I'm not talking man laws here. I'm talking about that spiritual, divine law, that passion, that energy that brings opposites together. You know what I'm saying? The good, bad, being, non-being, feminine, masculine. But you all know what I'm talking about, right? I want to propose a toast to divine power of two.
Don't worry. Get it myself. Well, I wasn't worried. Hey, you're not leaving yet, are you? No, no. Did you know that this city is 70% single? I did not. And you think that means it'd be easy for a girl to find a man, right? Uh, nope. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I found somebody, but he was an ass. I don't know why, but I just, I feel like I could tell you anything, you know? It's been five and a half really long months. You know what I'm saying? And, and look, it's not like I don't follow those books that say, don't give him none, girl, till you get a ring on it. Don't do it. I didn't. I didn't do it. I held the box down, you know, dry, nothing. And, and I thought he was being chivalrous. And it turns out he wasn't being chivalrous. He was getting ass from his wife. <laughs> Fuck. Um. Um. Your friend? Oh, she's fine. She's fine. Okay, so, um, you know, I was thinking I could just, you know, I could take you home and just, like, knock the dust off you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in here then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, I, um, I'm not really a drinker. I don't really partake. But, you know, I thought I'm in the mood to be rude. <laughs> You usually nice. Oh, you know, well, I bite. <laughs> Not all the time, um, but I do sometimes. Can I, <laughs> can I share something with you? Uh, you can tell me anything gorgeous. I recently broke up with my girl. I, you know, I am a little happy to hear that. Well, the thing is, I, I slept with her best friend. All right. And her best friend's best friend. They're all friends, really. One of the two gave me clap. You know, chlamydia. This thing is like the super clap. I'm talking round of applause, standing ovation. Anyway, I must have given it to the other friend and my ex. Now everybody's clapping. Now my ex won't take my calls, pop up at her place. She won't answer the door. I, I don't think it's fair. You? I'm gonna get a refill. <laughs> Yo, asshole. I brought you here to run interference and you show up looking like a homeless person. But that's not even the main problem I'm mad about. We as black people put too much emphasis on clothes. <clears throat> that's it. You hate me. Just say you hate me, then at least I understand. Because other than that, what the fuck was that, man? I didn't think she would run off like that. Word. Doc, I swear, man, if you wasn't my... I <laughs> man, <laughs> I'm brittle, man. I'm brittle. Let me go. But look, listen. We supposed to be <laughs> That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing tonight? Okay. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Suffering from assholeism. <laughs> this is what's going on with you right now. You alright, man? Yeah, I need to get out of here, man. Mm. Alright. Shit. I call you a lift or something. Uh, uh, I'm cool. Cool. <laughs> COVID-19 vaccine human trials now underway using inmates as the death toll from the virus Pop. in the U.S. hits nearly... I'm talking to... The vaccine rollout continues... Can you please turn the TV off? Of thousands of doses have disappeared. <sighs> Are you going to tell me or no? What does it matter? It matters. It shouldn't. Didn't happen to you. It happened to me.
Can you not be a dickhead, please? Boy. Why did you and mom split up? Well, you know why. I know why. I don't know how you got there. What, what, what is all this about? I'm trying to take inventory of my fucking life. What the hell is your problem? You're interrogating me. It's like talking to a politician. Why can't you just answer a question? Because the question is pointless. Damn. You know what happened. Coming up in here asking all kind of questions, poking around, opening doors that long since been closed. And now you want me to... <laughs> also, you can put it up in some book. Did you? Did you love her? So what makes you think that's enough? Hey, Liam. Need to talk to you. Soon. Of course. Of course I can make time. In a couple days, yeah? I'll have my secretary set something up. Hi. What's happening? Red teeth? <laughs> I don't have. <laughs> I have one. And then the next thing you know. Whoop. What's going on? My show got canceled. What do you think about these shoes? You shop when you're sad. That's where you're wrong. I online shop when I'm bored and I store shop when I'm mad. There'll be other shows. You're an incredible photographer. No shit. Have you seen my photos? <laughs> what the? I just... I thought it'd be nice. I wanted you to see something nice. I'm not crying. You think we're together because we're alone? Are your parents still alive? Yeah. How's your relationship with them? And complicated is not a sufficient answer. My father is hard. Hard? Honestly, he's a sweetheart. It's just the world has been unfair to him. Force him to be ashamed of it. Do you have a relationship with your mother? I'm sure you think it matters, but it doesn't. She's your mother. How could it not? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not really here today. Where are you? Have you ever had to lose someone you love? Watch them go. Not in the way I'm sure you mean. It's confusing. How so? A side of you comes out that you didn't know you had. It, it rips you open. Exposes you to yourself. Which decision is selfish? Should they linger for you or leave for them? They're a shell. They're machines everywhere. They can't talk. You don't know what to think, how to feel. When you have these thoughts. Are they selfish, vile, love? What is it to be okay with losing someone you love so they don't have to hurt anymore? I'm not sure I want to rip someone I love open like that. I'm looking for life. In the photos. Liam, I'm going to the store. You want something to eat? 
I'm writing. Sorry. How could you not know that? I was just asking. There's a computer here. I'm typing on it. What did you think I was doing? Don't talk to me like that. How should I talk to you? In what way can I let you know that when their thoughts in my head and they're coming out, I can't be disturbed? I can't be bothered. The slightest disturbance and they're gone. I may never get them back. Do you have any idea how frustrating that is? To spend all this time, all this energy to get to a place and someone knocks it over just to ask a trivial question. You think I care about food? Well, how about you starve? And we'll see if your stomach sucking up against your spine disturbs you. Disturb me less than what's happening right now. You're being an asshole. Do I harass you when you're looking through your little pictures? Yet you can't give me the same respect. You come here and you do nothing. If you can't have respect for what I do, then... I don't think I want you here. I hope that your computer loses everything and not another word comes out of you. What kind of shit thing is that to say? Yeah, I got a second opinion. What do you think Dr. Howell is? I didn't ask if you got a second opinion. No? I asked about your comfort level. With dying? Yeah. I'm not that fucking... Excuse me. It's not a comforting thought. You ever have those dreams? Are you running from something? You're exhausted. You don't know where you're going or what you're running from. In those dreams, what feels more real? The exhaustion or the fear? The fear. Having nowhere to go. Nowhere I'm welcome. been there in years. How long? Before I left for college, maybe. What happened? She had an affair with a married man. He left his wife. She left my father. Two of them got married. How old were you? Eight. Yeah, exactly eight. I want you to be okay if you don't get what you need.
I didn't have time to prepare anything. Do you want something to drink? I'm gonna have something. What brings you to the middle of nowhere? Finally able to get a hold of you. It's beautiful here. I love the open air. Can't be cooped up in no city. I'm just the opposite. I like the energy of the city. You're young. You have time to smarten up. Where's Walter? Seems quiet. He's dead. Dead to me, anyway. You know I can't be brought down by no man. I wouldn't know, actually. And all his kids you had running around? Tree dead. Fruit dead. So you took the man's land from him and his family? This land was nothing but dirt when I found him. I built him. I built this place. You still hungry? Thank you for the carry out and cheap coffee, but it was a long fucking drive. You obviously came here with a chip on your shoulder and an ax to grind. So if there's something you want to tell me. The uh, horses are nice. Do you mind if I... If that's what you like. Your lady friend. Adriana. You heading back to the city? Yeah. Those roads can be really dark at night. Dangerous. So. Thanks for the concern. If you came here to tell me what a bad mother I am, save it. That's not why I came. I was young and you turned out just fine, so. But young? So the fuck what? Liam! You're a grown man. You, you can't be carrying on like this. We spent time. I wasn't there for every little thing, but I was there. That's what you think. I think for some reason you feel you owed a pound of flesh. You're wrong. Everything inside me told me this was a mistake. Then why'd you come? Because I, I hope... I did right by you, and your daddy picked up the slack. That's what he's supposed to do. He don't get no cookie for it. Just one time in my life, can you... Be your mommy? You want me to throw you over my shoulder? God damn. I knew your father had you turning out like this. A boy raising a boy. No one fucking needed you. You didn't give a damn. And nothing stopped. And without you, I didn't need you. Feel better? There's nowhere else I could go to get what you have. Well, you turned out just fine, so...
So, I called Dajane last night. Thought she was out. Sipping this shit, I felt the need to reminisce. She let you back in? Nah. She told me to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the different energies? I don't know, man. I'm still new to this holistic lifestyle. I'm still growing, evolving. Play as fuck up. Play as fuck up. She was so warm, though. I mean, when she laid up against me, man, it was like we would just melt. Well, fuck that up. She was smart, sexy, beautiful, successful, and had her own life. And she was interested in mine. Why am I so forsaken? Oh, God. You turned around. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I just need a little bit more time. I've been reading about this place in Oklahoma. They specialize in stuff like this. I, I know the treatment center that you're referring to, yes. What's your read on them? If I thought there was something that they could do to help you, I, I would send you to them. I was thinking about that. Maybe you could have sent me to them, but you don't want to be wrong. Maybe this is about vanity. This is not about vanity, Liam. I want you to write him a letter. Tell him exactly what's wrong with me, everything you've already done, so they can cut through the bullshit. Liam, is that really how you want to spend the rest of your time? In a state that you don't know, surrounded by people that you don't know, so pumped full of chemo and radiation that you're virtually catatonic? I have money. I have the Cadillac of insurance. You... You're telling me there's nothing in the back when you keep the good stuff? What I'm telling you is, we're here now. You're here all the time. Someone's given no time, then some doctor finds something that was overlooked. Some combination. If there was anything that I could do, anything, I would not hesitate. We have done everything that we can do. I want to go somewhere with you. Where? Wherever you want. No beach. No water. That's what I want. Too cliche. Somewhere unexpected. Italy. It's been around a long time. It has stories to tell. You've been thinking about her a lot? I've been seeing her as separate from me. And now? Like a part of my existence. I'm not sure if it's because I'm... Or if you really do. If you're asking me if you're manifesting feelings, yes, it's possible. But it doesn't matter. You still have time to give love. It's also possible that you're not real. Nothing is real. It's going all be a projection in my mind, and I'm sitting in a pod somewhere with a tube stuck in the back of my head. Yeah, a clock is running down on all of us, but yours isn't real. So how can you understand? Give advice. Or think you should. What is this? Anger? Are you angry? Frustrated? Sad? Whatever it is you can be. You should be. Just say it, bro. After the last book, they're just not that excited in the moment. But, you know how quickly we can turn that around. Yeah. They want to have the readers take a look at it. So I'm back to auditioning. Look, they're just trying to develop a new power dynamic. They want you to be grateful that they're even taking your calls to get you on the terms. When do you think we can get it to them? Um... You need me to push the date back? No. It's with the editor. Oh, so it's finished. It's done. No. What's at the editor? You good? 
good? I had to call you, man. Hello? How you feeling? You want something for the pain? Sure. How's this gonna work? The house work gonna work. How am I gonna die? William, it's uh it's different for everyone. Liam, do you have your affairs in order? What are you feeling? You'll think ill of me. It isn't fair, is it? But you wish it wasn't fair to someone else. I'm too tired to put some spin on this. You don't have to. This is a simple document that outlines what we discussed. You just need to sign at the bottom. You know how you go to your favorite restaurant and it's always right? <laughs> That's how Dajane is. She's always right. <laughs> how is that even possible? I mean, even LeBron misses a shot sometimes. Is she better than LeBron? I need to talk to you, bro. You know, I was right from the very beginning, man. You ever get back with somebody and you realize immediately the reason why you ran for your life in the first place? Chris. Oh yeah, man, and uh, I got some more book signers lined up for you. I'm not gonna need any more work, bro. I'm trying to talk to you here. Listen, man, I, I'm just running a little late, man. I gotta. I don't form opinions about what I edit. They're just words. It's someone's life. No, that's not what I meant. I'll have the final pages for you soon. Maybe. Hey, how, how, how's that new book of yours coming along? Good. Well, I tell you what I think. I think this one right here is gonna be your best one yet.
I wish I would have seen you sooner. I changed my mind. I'm not going. You have to. I don't have to do anything. It's your job. You still have Italy. You have other stories to create. I don't want to leave you. I'll take you everywhere. We are the sum of our experiences, the product of our actions, the result of our mistakes. None of those are true. They're attempts to calculate the incalculable, hubris, a hardening then erosion of an art, the art of being alive, a friend, a man incapable of being anything but in the truest sense of the word, a friend, a sibling, a forgiving and caring woman, a woman that brings out the good in everything, everyone. Selfish. There's nothing to forgive. I never did love you. A father. 
I understand. I understand. And a woman, a light that makes the world tolerable. Show me what love should be. Adriana, your life. Goodbye, world. You were cruel and beautiful. Signed, just some guy who liked Jill Scott. I know these type of dealings can seem cold after the loss of a loved one. So I don't want to take up any more of your time than I should. There are a few places for you to sign, and they're marked by the tabs. I'm sorry, what am I signing? I thought you were aware. Liam left you his estate, and two million, one hundred thousand and some odd change. Adriana, I'm ready for you. It's a boy. Thank you. 